Oh, hey, everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe, and today we're with Renee and Max in the diner,、oh, and they're talking. Oh, Gabe, Gabe, I'm sorry, but that was yesterday's lesson. Oh, you're right. How embarrassing. Yes, it is embarrassing, but Gabe, it's okay because the title of our lesson today is "How Embarrassing." Oh, you're right. Good. Well, let's get started with our key words. Say them with us. The first one is subject. Subject. Ask Sally about boys. That's her favorite subject to talk about. Moment. Moment. Jim's boss thanked him for his hard work. That was a good moment for Jim. Share. Share. Please share about your trip. I want to hear about it. Angry. Angry. I made a mistake. Please don't be angry with me. Ignore. Ignore. Mark is ignoring me. I talk to him, but he won't even look at me. Embarrass. Embarrass! Don't tell that story about me. It embarrasses me. Well, friends, let's say these keywords together again. The first one is subject. Subject. Moment. Moment. Share. Share. Angry. Angry. Ignore. Ignore. Embarrass. Embarrass. And now, Eddie, give us the mission. Okay, here it is, the mission. What can't Sarah write about? What can't Sarah write about? Well, let's go find the answer in today's lesson right now. Hey, Betty. Hi, Sarah. Do you need to mail something? No. I want to ask you about my newspaper article. Ah, you need your editor. Let me put on my editor's hat. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> so, what's the problem? I can't write about this subject. Embarrassing moments. What would you do? This subject is perfect for you. The subject is perfect for Sarah. Now, Andrea, what subject is this? Well, the subject is embarrassing moments. What would you do? Well, hey, that sounds like the answer to our mission too. Our mission is: What can't Sarah write about? What can't Sarah write about? She can't write about this subject. The subject is embarrassing moments. What would you do? Well, we can talk about these key words. The first one here is subject. Subject. Good job. A subject is something that you talk about, or something that you think about, or write about. Timu subject. Yes, the subject. Now, when you read an article, the article usually talks about a subject. Betty wants Sarah to write an article, but she doesn't want to write about the subject Betty gives her. That's right. Well, there are different kinds of subjects, and if you're in school, you might be taking classes with different subjects. One class might have the subject of history. 
What was your favorite subject? Well, in school, my favorite subject was history. I enjoyed learning about things that happened in the past. And we see another subject here. It is embarrassing moments. There's a key word, moment. Moment. A moment is a time, especially a time in your life. That is a moment in your life. Yes, a moment is a time where something happens. An embarrassing moment is a time when you felt embarrassed. Yes, and we have had many great moments here on this show. Let's talk in English. Let's go right now to see Thomas. We'll be back in a moment. 大家好，我是 Thomas。首先来学 subject， subject， subject 在这里当做主题。I can't write about this subject. 我没有办法来写有关这个主题的事情。Why not? 为什么不可以呢 ？I think this subject is perfect for you. 我觉得这个题目对你来讲太完美了。所以在这里的 subject 几乎就等于 topic。那你也可以说 ，I think the subject is perfect for you to write about. 你是写作的人嘛？你来写这个题目应该是最适合的啦。I think the subject is perfect for you to talk about. 由你来谈论这样一个题目应该是最适合不过的了。是这样子一个用法。Subject 也是科目 ，subject 也是文法里面的主词，简写成 s 就是这个字。接下来来学 moment。moment 是一会儿，比如说 one moment， 等一下。One moment. Wait a minute. Wait a moment. Wait a minute. Wait a moment. 是一样的意思。这边提到的是 embarrassing moments， 生命中一些让人尴尬的时刻。I have some embarrassing moments in my life, and I think you have some embarrassing moments in your life as well. 我的生命中有一些比较不好意思的、比较令人尴尬的时刻，相信你也有。我们来看下一段。Are you making fun of me? No, you and Max have had some embarrassing moments lately, right? And you want me to write about them? I don't want the whole town to know. Well, this is a small town. <laughs> They might already know. Betty, sorry, that wasn't funny. I thought you might have some wisdom to share with our readers. What kind of wisdom? Talk about what to do when you are embarrassed. Well, this is a great idea. Sarah can share some wisdom of what she learned. She can help people talk about what to do when you are embarrassed. Now, Gabe, what do you do when you are embarrassed? When I'm embarrassed, I I look around and. And then I run home. <laughs> okay, Gabe, 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 stay here. Stay here. You're not embarrassed right oh, now. No, I'm not. Okay, no problem. And maybe you can learn from Sarah's article. Yes. Well, we are going to learn our key word together. It is share. Share. When you share something, you tell others about it. You can share by writing it down. Or share by telling someone a story. Here's how you can use this word, share. You can go to your friend and say, "Please share with me what you did over the weekend. Share your experiences with me." Or you can tell someone, "Oh, I have some good news to share. I have some good news that I want to tell you." What's your good news to share, Andrea? Well. My good news、yes. is that Thomas is here, and he wants to share more with everyone. No way. Yes. Okay. Great. Let's go see him. Here, Sarah says, "Are you making fun of me? To make fun of somebody, 就是取笑某人的意思，也等于 laugh at, l a u g h 加上介系词 at. Are you laughing at me? 你在取笑我吗 ？Are you making fun of my new dress? 我穿的新洋装，你们在取笑我吗 ？Are you laughing at my new dress? 同样的意思。后面来学助动词 might. They might already know. 
，might 就是可能的意思 ，might。后面提到说 ，I thought you might have some wisdom to share with our readers. 首先提到的是 wisdom， 智慧 ，wisdom。这里有两点要小心，一个是它的念法 s 发 z 的音 wisdom。第二呢，它的原来的形容词是 wise。W I S E 有智慧的，改成名词的 wisdom 的时候，那个 e 不见了，变成 W I S D O M。He is a man of wisdom。他是一个有智慧的人。He is a man of great wisdom。他是有大智慧的人，都可以用这个用法。动词 share， share 是分享。Would you share your experience with us？ 请跟我们分享你的经验好吗？我们来看下一个。Okay, let's see. You can run home, like I did after my embarrassing presentation at school. I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that. You can yell and get angry, like I did when Ben came into the bathroom. I heard about that. You can ignore the person who embarrasses you. I am still ignoring Ben. Or you can forgive the person. Yeah, but I guess you're right. I'd better go. Talk to Ben and write my article. Well, everyone, while Sarah is going to write her article, we are here and we can teach you some key words. Our first one here is angry. Angry. Angry means upset. If you are angry about something or angry at someone, that means you are upset. Maybe you're mad. Do you remember how Sarah got angry when Ben came into the bathroom and didn't knock first? That's right. She got angry. Well, friends, what makes you angry? Don't be angry right now. We have some more key words to teach. The next one is ignore. Ignore. When you ignore someone, then if they are trying to talk to you or trying to get your attention, you just act like they are not doing anything. You ignore them. Isn't that right, Andrea? When you ignore someone, you act like you don't see or you don't know a person. Well, Gabe, I have a question for so, you. So we are going to move on, and we have one more thing. Gabe, Gabe, I have a question for you. Right, and so anyway, Gabe, everybody. Why are you ignoring me? I'm right here. Oh, Andrea, sorry. I'm sorry. What did you want to ask? Well, I wanted to ask if. Well, if you're going to teach the next keyword, <laughs> yes, Andrea, I will right now. Sorry for ignoring you. Okay, everybody, the next keyword、uh, is embarrass. Embarrass. If you embarrass somebody, that means you do something that makes them feel embarrassed, or maybe they don't want other people watching. You embarrass them. Well, Gabe, you embarrassed me when you ignored me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrea. It's okay. I, I won't embarrass you. It's、anymore. okay. I know it's all to help us understand. So it's okay. Wait, what did you say? Oh, I wasn't ignoring you. Okay, Thomas would never ignore me. So let's go learn more from him. Yes. Here we learn angry, 形容词，生气的。Or you can get angry. 那么做错事情呢，令你尴尬、不好意思、难堪。那你可以怎样？你可以生气啊。其实这不好的建议，它还是有点酸溜溜的哈。好像呢，以前错误的，或者是令他难堪的这种经验，印象还在他心里面哦。You can get angry. 那么 angry 后面可以接 with， 也可以接 at。Don't be angry with me. 不要对我生气嘛。The teacher is angry at Sam. 所以呢。Teacher 呢？老师呢？对 ，Sam 非常的生气。后面来学 ignore， ignore， ignore 是忽视的意思。所以呢，如果你要正常在做事情呢，然后呢，正经八百做事，有一个人一直在旁边闹的话，那旁边可能可以劝你说 ignore him， ignore him， 
忽忽略他，就就当做他不存在好了。Ignore him. You can just ignore him. Don't pay attention to him. 不用注意他的意思。后面的 embarrass， 我们之前教过了，令人难堪，这是动词哈。Or you can forgive the person who embarrassed you. 让你那个难堪的那个人，也许你可以尝试原谅他。我们来看今天的 Inspector E. Inspector E. Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. E. In one of our lessons this week, Renee said something interesting. Let's listen to that again. Today was just one of those days. Today was just one of those days. Today was just one of those days. We all have days when everything goes wrong. Maybe you wake up late, and because you wake up late, you miss your bus. And because you miss your bus, you're late for work. And because you're late for work, your boss yells at you. Then at lunch, when you go to pay for your food, you don't have your wallet. Then after work, you fall down and hurt yourself on your way home. When many bad things happen in one day, you can say you had one of those days. One of those days is a phrase that people use in English to talk about a hard day. After a day when you have a lot of problems, you can say it was just one of those days. You can also say one of those things. One of those things talks about something that is really hard to explain or something that doesn't make sense. For example. I don't know why Tom and Jerry fight all the time. It's just one of those things. Well, I hope that you're not having one of those days. I hope you're having a good day, and I know how to make your day even better. Practice what you've learned. Remember, use it or lose it. This is Mr. E signing off. Conversation replay. Hey Betty. Hi Sarah. Do you need to mail something? No. I want to ask you about my newspaper article. Ah, you need your editor. Let me put on my editor's hat. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> so, what's the problem? I can't write about this subject. Embarrassing moments. What would you do? But this subject is perfect for you. Are you making fun of me? No. You and Max have had some embarrassing moments lately, right? And you want me to write about them? I don't want the whole town to know. Well, this is a small town. <laughs> They might already know. Betty. Sorry, that wasn't funny. I thought you might have some wisdom to share with our readers. What kind of wisdom? Talk about what to do when you are embarrassed. Okay, let's see. You can run home, like I did after my embarrassing presentation at school. I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that. You can yell and get angry, like I did when Ben came into the bathroom. I heard about that. You can ignore the person who embarrasses you. I am still ignoring Ben. Or you can forgive the person. Yeah, but I guess you're right. I'd better go. Talk to Ben and write my article. Calendar phrase. Gabe, I'm sorry. Andrea, I, I forgive you. <laughs> no, Gabe, I'm sorry. Andrea, I forgive you. But I'm sorry. Andrea, I forgive you. No, really. Oh, I forgive you. Don't you. to get angry, Gabe. I'm sorry, Andrea. I forgive you. Good. Let's look at today's calendar phrase. It is, I forgive you. I forgive you. If someone says I'm sorry to you. 
maybe it's good for you to say, I forgive you. Then they don't feel so bad. Let's go and look at today's skit. I forgive you. I forgive you. 我原谅你 You hurt my feelings when you laughed at me. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I'm sorry I said you weren't a good student. That's okay. I forgive you. And I'm sorry I said you aren't smart. You didn't say that. Oh, well, I'm sorry anyway. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. 我原谅你 Hey everybody! Now it's time for the question of the day with Eddie. Hey Eddie. Hey. Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, the question. Oh, now it's another good one. So here it is. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Well, actually, I have many embarrassing moments. I have many embarrassing moments when I try to speak Chinese. I often use the wrong words, and people laugh. Actually, it's okay because I learn from my mistakes. Interesting, you learn from your mistakes. That's a good idea, don't you think so, everybody? Well, hey, friends, thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> From the shadows and from behind the silhouette, now you're glowing like the sun. Your life has just begun. Should you stumble, you won't fall. Just believe and have faith in the one who sees it all. Open your eyes to the world around. Friends, to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today on the go. My name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. That's right. We are on the go today, and we are talking about something exciting. We're talking about something fast. It's the high-speed rail. Yes, it is. Well, friends, let's look at some keywords to help you understand our on the go. The first one is model. Model. Kevin builds model boats. He also collects them. Electric. Electric. Sue sleeps with an electric blanket. It keeps her warm at night. Class. Class. Julie always travels. First class. Engine. Engine. Mike's car has a problem. The engine won't start. Pollution. Say it with me. Pollution. Many big cities have a lot of pollution. Good. Let's say these words again. Say them with us. Model. Model. Electric. Electric. Class. Class. Engine. Engine. Pollution. Pollution. Great job! Now, Eddie, do you have our mission today? Eddie? Eddie, are you on a train? 
Yes, Eddie, okay. Maybe you can take the high speed rail, but what is the mission? Mission, mission. What's he doing? Mission. Mission! Oh, oh, sorry, yes, I, I would be glad to give you the mission. Here it is. How fast does the high speed rail go? How fast does the high speed rail go? Let's go on the go. Oh, hello, friends. Do you like trains? I do. Because <laughs> today we're going to talk about big trains and small trains. So let's go on the go. All aboard! I love playing with model trains. This is a great hobby for children and adults. Model trains look like real trains, but are much, much smaller. There are many kinds of model trains. Some look very old. Others look really new, like a high-speed train. Here is an old train. This train is called a locomotive. This was a very popular train in Europe for many years. Many passengers can still go on this today. Real trains can move. Model trains can also move. People can buy special train tracks to make a kind of road for trains. Model trains can move around because they are electric. The model trains can then move around a little model world. Look at the little houses and trees. Model trains are fun. But now let's take a look at some bigger and faster trains. Now Gabe, you have a car. But we're not talking about cars today, we're talking about trains. Ah, uh, yes, you are right, Andrea. But we are also talking about models, and this is a model car. You're right, and that is a key word. Let's learn it together. Model. Model. A model is a small copy or small thing of something that is very big. So you can have a model car, just like this one I have here. And in the on the go, Daniel saw some model trains of the high speed rail. They're smaller trains. Some people collect model trains or model cars. It's a fun hobby. Well, we learned that these model trains can also move because they are electric. Our next keyword is electric. Electric. If something is electric, that means it uses power. If it's electric, it can move. So Daniel is playing with these model trains and they are electric when they go around the track. I have also heard about electric cars. These are cars that don't use gas like most cars, but these electric cars are better for the environment, the huanjing around us. Yes, that's true. They're also electric blankets. These are blankets that you can use and they're nice and warm. Oh, they're so warm. You know what? Thomas is a warm guy too. Let's go hear what he has to say. 大家好,我是Thomas,又到了我们on-the-go的时间了,今天我们要来看火车,大火车,小火车,小火车指的就是模型火车,模型呢,英文叫做model, trains, model, trains, model trains are much smaller than real trains, 真正的火车跟这个模型火车比起来, model trains are much smaller. 记得在国外的时候搭火车之前,那个车长都会下来大声叫一声, All aboard! 
，大家登车咯，这样子哦。哦，全部的人 aboard。A B O A R D 就是登上火车的意思。那通常呢，大人小孩呢都喜欢收集这种模型火车，你就可以说 ，Both children and adults collect model trains. They collect model trains. 那他也会跑的、啊，跑在什么呢？轨道上面哈、哦。Model trains run on small tracks. Tracks 就是铁轨，小的铁轨当然还是模型的哈。接下来我们来学 electric 通电的电的。Model trains can also move around because they are electric. 一旦通电了之后，即使这种模型的火车，它也是会动的哈。Electricity, E L E C T R I C I T Y 就是电的名词。我们赶快来看下一段。The high-speed rail is one of the easiest ways to travel from city to city. These trains are bigger, comfortable, and of course, much faster. They also need special stations. High-speed rail stations are different from normal train stations. They need to have a very long platform so that the long trains can fit inside. The stations are also very clean and modern for visitors. Wow, this this is a really long train. Okay, car number five. Where is car number five? It's there. Let's go. We gotta hurry. Trains that go really fast need to have excellent train drivers. These people make sure the train runs smoothly and safely. <laughs> Just like ships and airplanes and other trains, the high-speed railroad also has different classes. For more comfort. Passengers can enjoy their trip in business class. For normal prices, passengers can sit in standard class seats. Taking the high-speed rail is the fastest and easiest way to go up and down the island. All this happens because of speed. Well, this is a fun on the go, and Daniel is talking about high-speed rail trains. He is on a train, and we see that he is sitting in a certain area of seats, and this is his class. This is a class of seats. Let's look at this key word: the word class. Class. A class is a certain area where you sit, or it's where certain people can sit. There are higher classes and lower classes and middle classes. When you're traveling, you can choose what class you want to travel in. The class tells you how comfortable your trip will be. Sometimes in an airplane, you can fly first class. That's the most comfortable part of the airplane. Andrea, you said you fly first class. So when you talk about this word class, you can add first in front. That is the most expensive and most comfortable. And you say that you travel first class or you fly first class. Of course, if you want to not spend so much money, then you can travel standard class. And maybe that's what Daniel did on the high-speed rail. He traveled standard class. Yes, we learned that the high-speed rail has two classes: standard and business. That's right. Well, right now let's go and listen to Thomas. He has more to teach us. 接下来我们看到高铁，高铁叫做 the high-speed rail. The high-speed rail, high-speed, 高速的。Rail 指的是这种铁路的系统。那么高铁呢，也有特殊的
，月台也有特殊的车站，月台叫做 platform， P L A T F O R M。那么车站这种高铁的车站跟一般的车站都叫做 station， 所以有特殊的 station， 因为他们的车呢比较长，所以要有比较长的 platform， 比较长的月台。接下来看到 class， class 指的是指在车厢内有不同的等级的车厢，它的票价呢也不一样，所以你可以说 the cars have different classes， different classes。不同的等级 ，cars 就是指车厢。The cars have different classes， 就等于说 the cars have different classes of service。它的服务呢，它的品质、座位等等也都不一样。有哪些呢？有 standard class。Standard class car 就是一般的普通车厢。当然也有 business class。Business class 商务的车厢票价就不一样了。那么高速的铁路最重要的一个要素就是什么 ？Speed, speed. So you can move up and down the island. 可以从这个岛上的头到岛上的尾，主要就是因为 all this works because of speed. S P E E D. 速度真是太快了。我们赶快来看下一段。Now it doesn't feel like we're going very fast, but we are. So what makes this train go really fast? Let's find out. The high-speed trains have strong engines that make the wheels turn very quickly. The engines can make this train go up to 300 kilometers per hour. Three hundred kilometers an hour? That's really fast. That's that's like an airplane. I hope we don't take off like an airplane. The high-speed rail has its own special train tracks. Only high-speed trains can use them. These special tracks are usually high up from the ground to protect the fast train and its passengers. The way the high-speed rail is built is also safe for the environment. It makes less pollution and noise than cars and airplanes. Hmm. What? Are we there already? I didn't even get a nap. This train goes too fast. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow! I have so much time. What will I do? I know. I can play with my model train. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming with me today on the high-speed rail. See you next time on the go. Whoa! Wow! That was a fast train trip. Now, how fast does the high-speed rail go? Well, friends, that's the question in today's mission. How fast does the high-speed rail go? How fast does the high-speed rail go? This train goes 300 kilometers per hour. Now that is very fast. Daniel enjoyed his time on this fast trip. Well, friends, let's learn some more key words from this section. The first one is engine. Say it with me. Engine. The engine of something is the machine that makes it move. Right. So if a train is going, that means it has an engine. Many machines have engines. Cars have engines, and it's important that your engine works. If your engine doesn't work. Then you can't start your car, and you can't go anywhere. Does your engine work? I hope it does. <laughs> well, friends, our next keyword in this part is pollution. Pollution. 
Now, pollution is a lot of bad things or dirty things that are in the air. And there are many different kinds of pollution. You know that cars in a city will add pollution to the city. And there's also noise pollution. If there is a lot of noise, then it sounds really bad. And it's bad for your ears. That's noise pollution. Well, the good news is that the high speed rail does not give a lot of pollution to the environment. That's one great point, one very good thing about the high speed rail. Well, Andrea, this sounds very interesting. And the high speed rail sounds like something fun. I like to go traveling on the high speed rail real quickly. I think that's great. And now you have learned to talk about it in English, but there is more to learn with Thomas. Because it has a very powerful engine. Powerful. P O W E R F U L. 非常强劲有力的 engine 引擎，以至于呢，它就能够跑得很快。And the engine can make the train go up to 300 kilometers per hour. Wow, 每小时三百公里的这个速度，都是因为它有非常强劲的引擎哈。后面来学 pollution， 污染 pollution。高铁呢 ，they use。Special train tracks. They use trains that are special. So these trains make less noise and less pollution. So the sound is less noisy. The pollution is less. It's really great. Li Ding, the new 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 Hey everybody! Now it's time for our calendar phrase. The phrase today is, "We all make mistakes." We all make mistakes. This is a great phrase to know. If someone has done something wrong or they feel bad about something that they did, you can tell them, "We all make mistakes." If your friend took a test. And he did not do so well, and it was really bad, <laughs> and he is really sad. Then, then maybe you can tell this to them. It's true, Gabe. We all make mistakes, and we all learn from our mistakes too. That's right. Let's go look at today's calendar phrase skit. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. 我们都会犯错。I think I hurt Dan's feelings. Hey, we all make mistakes. What happened? I said some mean things to him. We all make mistakes. Are you still friends? Yes. I told him I am sorry, and he forgave me. Well, we all make mistakes, but I'm glad he forgave your mistake. Me too. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. 我们都会犯错 Well, that was fun learning more about the high-speed rail. Now, Eddie, do you have a question for us? Oh yeah, that was a great episode. I loved it. Fast trains, whoa!、Mm -hmm. uh, I love fast things too. Yeah, Eddie, can you give us the question of the day really fast? Okay, here it comes. Do you like fast trains? Why or why not? Do you like fast trains? Why or why not? I do like fast trains. Why? Because they're fast. Yes, you can get from one place to another place very quickly. Well, friends, thank you all for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. fun. Bye bye. Bye bye.
good friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Saturday show of Let's Talk in English here on PTS. Get ready to review our week of lessons together. My name's Andrea. And I'm Gabe. And this week we were talking about embarrassing moments and apologizing. Now, I have a question for you. The first question is, who does Ben run into in the bathroom? Oh, how embarrassing. Ben ran into Sarah in the bathroom. Oh, that is very embarrassing. But Ben apologizes to her. He says, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Now, question number two. Who does Renee spill food on? Renee spills food on Mrs. Lewis. She's one of the new owners of the diner. That's right. And she was a customer that day. Well, everyone, let's have fun as we review this week's lessons right now. Conversation Replay Sarah is very sad. She is crying. Her speech in history class did not go well. She was too nervous. Now she still feels bad. Sarah goes into her house. She runs to the bathroom. A little later, Ben comes into the house. He looks around. He calls for Max and Sarah. No one answers. So, he walks through the house. He needs the bathroom. Ben, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Sarah. Why don't you knock? I'm really sorry. I am using the bathroom. I know. Now. Don't just open the door. Knock first. Sorry. And don't just come into my house. Knock first. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Max. He comes home at 9 o'clock. OK. So what is on your face? It's green. Ben, it's a mask. Just go, please. Okay. Bye. Hi. Sorry, but I really need the bathroom. Can I use it? Oh, fine. Renee, don't worry about today. I know. Today was just one of those days. How was your day, guys? It was embarrassing. Why? What happened? Lots of bad things. Really? Like what? Well, most of the day was OK. Then Mr. and Mrs. Lewis came into the diner. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis? Hmm? Oh, they are the new owners of the diner, right? Yes, they live in Chicago. And they always like to come to the diner without telling us. But that's OK. So, at first, everything was great. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis loved my cooking. But then something happened? Well, then Ben came in. So? He saw Carl. He saw him under the table. Who is Carl? One of Ben's cockroaches. That's not good. No. Ben ran around the diner looking for Carl. I told him to stop running. Then he ran into me. You didn't have... Yes. I had food in my hands. I spilled food 
on a customer. I felt so embarrassed. Oh no. And guess who the customer was? Mrs. Lewis. Oh no. Oh yes. Renee apologized right away. I said, I am so sorry. Let me clean this up for you. Max will bring you another dish ASAP. It will be on us. Mrs. Lewis said, well, good. Right now, it's on me. <laughs> <clears throat> so I said, right, sorry. Your food will be free, no charge. Mr. Lewis was mad and asked about our cockroach problem. I explained to Mr. Lewis very calmly, Ben keeps cockroaches as pets. We clean the diner every day after work. We don't have a cockroach problem. Finally, Ben found it. Or he thought so, but it wasn't a cockroach. It was just some food. So Ben ran out the door still looking for Carl. Then Mrs. Lewis just laughed and laughed. She said, you guys are so funny. We were so happy to hear that. <laughs> hey, Betty. Hi, Sarah. Do you need to mail something? No. I want to ask you about my newspaper article. Ah, you need your editor. Let me put on my editor's hat. OK, I'm ready. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> so, what's the problem? I can't write about this subject. Embarrassing moments. What would you do? But this subject is perfect for you. Are you making fun of me? No. You and Max have had some embarrassing moments lately, right? And you want me to write about them? I don't want the whole town to know. Well, this is a small town. <laughs> they might already know. Betty! Sorry, that wasn't funny. I thought you might have some wisdom to share with our readers. What kind of wisdom? Talk about what to do when you are embarrassed. OK, let's see. You can run home like I did after my embarrassing presentation at school. I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that. You can yell and get angry, like I did when Ben came into the bathroom. I heard about that. You can ignore the person who embarrasses you. I am still ignoring Ben. Or you can forgive the person. Yeah, but I guess you're right. I'd better go. Talk to Ben and write my article. Hey friends, we also got to go with Dan on the go this week. And I have a question for you. True or false? The high speed rail makes more noise and pollution than other trains. Well, Gabe, that is false. The high speed rail makes less noise and less pollution than other trains. You are correct, Andrea. And now, friends, let's go and review this week's On The, the go. go. On The Go. Oh, hello, friends. Do you like trains? I do. Because <laughs> today, we're going to talk about big trains and small trains. So let's go On The Go. All aboard! I love playing with model trains. This is a great hobby for children and adults. Model trains look like real trains, but are much, much smaller. There are many kinds of model trains. Some look very old. Others look really new, like a high-speed train. Here is an old train. 
This train is called a locomotive. This was a very popular train in Europe for many years. Many passengers can still go on this today. Real trains can move. Model trains can also move. People can buy special train tracks to make a kind of road for trains. Model trains can move around because they are electric. The model trains can then move around a little model world. Look at the little houses and trees. Model trains are fun. But now let's take a look at some bigger and faster trains. The high-speed rail is one of the easiest ways to travel from city to city. These trains are bigger, comfortable, and of course much faster. They also need special stations. High-speed rail stations are different from normal train stations. They need to have a very long platform so that the long trains can fit inside. The stations are also very clean and modern for visitors. Wow, this, this is a really long train. Okay, car number five. Where is car number five? It's there. Let's go, we gotta hurry. Trains that go really fast need to have excellent train drivers. These people make sure the train runs smoothly and safely. <laughs> Just like ships and airplanes and other trains, the high-speed railroad also has different classes. For more comfort, Passengers can enjoy their trip in business class. For normal prices, passengers can sit in standard class seats. Taking the high-speed rail is the fastest and easiest way to go up and down the island. All this happens because of speed. Now it doesn't feel like we're going very fast, but we are. So what makes this train go really fast? Let's find out. The high-speed trains have strong engines that make the wheels turn very quickly. The engines can make this train go up to 300 kilometers per hour. kilometers an hour? That's really fast. That's, that's like an airplane. I hope we don't take off like an airplane. Man. The high-speed rail has its own special train tracks. Only high-speed trains can use them. These special tracks are usually high up from the ground to protect the fast train and its passengers. The way the high-speed rail is built is also safe for the environment. It makes less pollution and noise than cars and airplanes. <sighs> what? Are we there already? I didn't even get a nap! <sighs> this train goes too fast! Okay, okay. Alright, alright. I'm ready, I'm ready. Wow, I have so much time. What will I do? I know. I can play with my model train. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming with me today on the high-speed rail. 
See you next time on the go. Beat the G E P T. 大家好，我是 Thomas， 又到了我们 Beat the G E P T 战胜全民演讲的单元了。今天我们来看段落填空。这边说 ，learning a small language can be hard, a expensive, an expensive language. 那至少不定冠词要用 an 哈，但是也没有是贵的语言，应该是贵的英语课程，也许是很贵。但是这边呢，意思不对。Be serious， 非常严肃的语言也不对。Nervous，nervous nervous 是紧张的，紧张的语言也不对。D 答对了 ，foreign。Foreign 是外国的，所以 foreign language 就是外语。Learning a foreign language can be hard. 所以呢，要学习一个外语，你也可以说 learning a second language can be hard. 要学习第二个语言，其实还蛮困难的。所以答案应该要选 D. Foreign. 我们来看下一题。这边说 finding chances to practice the new language. 什么 easy? Finding chances. 找到机会来练习你现在要学的这个新语言，其实是容易还是不容易呢？句子的意思应该是说不容易吧。而且呢，是由动名词来引领一个句子的，它的动词要横用单数。这边的单数呢 ，are、aren't、a 跟 b 都不对 ，isn't 跟 d 的 is 选一个。那么句意是不容易，所以应该要选 isn't。Finding chances to practice the new language isn't easy. 找到机会来练习是不容易。我们来看下一题。另外呢，为什么会不容易？因为有很多 new words 要学新的字 ，grammar 文法也很困难。但是呢，也有让学习语言可以变得很有趣的方法。How study abroad 去国外学啊？所以这边有个空格说 ，You do that, you can hear the language you're learning every day. 那么，如果你这样做的话，你就可以每天听到那个语言被使用。去做了没？出国了没？还没有嘛？所以是应该是指未来哈。A when 答对了。When you do that， 你一旦这样子做，你就可以得到后面的结果。B 的 since 不对，因为自从既然因为的这个 since 是已经做了，你既然来了，我们就喝杯茶吧。你已经来了，但是我们的句意应该是还没有出国哈。How 呢是指如何不对 ，Where 是哪里，在这边也不适合。我们来看下一题。这边说 ，Well, you can use it every day too. 每天呢，在国外你都可以去使用这个语言。Then you will learn faster. 学习也会比较快。You can talk to people, read 什么 and newspapers. 所以有很多的好处，你在那边呢，可以跟当地的人说话，并且可以阅读什么呢 ？Eight ideas. 阅读一些的主义办法吗？不对 ，racist 是种族，你也不是阅读种族哈。C signs 是指标或者是路标，答对了，应该是 read signs and newspapers。所以你在那边可以呢跟当地人说话。You can also read signs and newspapers。街道上写的东西你也可以看，那这样你就可以学习到语言。D the films 是电影，不对，我们来看下一题。You can also meet students from around the world. 在国外，你也可以碰到很多来自于世界各地的学生。既然是世界各地来的，从什么地方来的？介系词应该用 from。所以 A 的 at， C 的 in， D 的 of 都不对，应该是 You can meet students from around the world. From around the world. 从全世界各地来的。以上的讲解清楚了吗？所以各位同学，像段落填空这样的题型的话，你一定要多多的阅读，不止课内的文章，也要读一些课外的英文的读物哦。And then you can be the GPT. e Word power. It's time for word power. This week we're talking about embarrassing moments. Oops. Everyone has accidents. An accident is something you do that is not planned. For example, when you spill something on someone, you have an accident. 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 If you spill something on someone, you get embarrassed.
When you are embarrassed, you feel uncomfortable in front of other people. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. What do you do when you get embarrassed? One thing you do is run away. You can leave the room and go somewhere else. Run away. Run away. Another thing you can do is get angry. When you get angry, you are not happy. When you're angry, you might want to yell or you might want to hit something. Angry. Angry. The nicest thing to do when you get embarrassed is to apologize. Say, I'm sorry. This makes the other person feel better. Apologize. Apologize. Now you know what to do when you get embarrassed. Remember these words and you will have word power. Song time. shadows and from behind the silhouette now you're glowing like the sun your life has just begun should you stumble you won't fall just believe and have faith in the one who sees it all Dream, dare to believe God knows all that you can do How far you go is up to Him and you Dare to dream Time to shine Any dream is possible Any star is reachable Life is so incredible When you can dream That's right everyone, dare to dream. Thank you friends for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS where learning English and reviewing can be, be fun. fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. Deep you find your faith. You will have no regrets. Step up from the shadows and from behind the silhouette. Now you're glowing like the sun. Your life has just begun. Should you?